Hi everyone, it's Maggie and I am here with a quick project share. Um, I made a card and matching box and it could be used for Valentine's Day or, you know, really any special occasion, I guess. Uh, I didn't use the word Valentine on the card, so that's why I'm saying that. But anyway, um, I got the Graphic 45 Mona Moore paper, um, their 8x8 paper pad, and then their 6x6 background pad. And I wanted to use it uh, to alter a box and make a card. So let me show you the card first. This is, this is the card. And I started off with a 6x6 piece of cream cardstock. And then I took a couple of the background papers and layered one on top of the other. This black and white one. And then this, um, I'm not sure, like a really, it's not a pink, uh, maybe a rose or a dark salmon-y color. But I don't know if you can see it, but it, it, the background paper is of flowers. But it's very, very faint. I love this line, it's really beautiful. And then I had this scrap piece here of the images, so I put that down and then I used one of the squares. Uh, one of the pages has different sayings and images, and this says, love changes everything. And then this piece here was um, from a um, I forget what you call it, but they came out with these um, packages of, they're almost like postcards. So I used that when it says, let me count the ways. Um, but I did cover up the background. It's got lines on it, so you could have written like all the ways that I guess you love somebody. <laughs> but anyways, um, on top of that, I added this paper doily of roses and I think Erla gave me that and then I had this resin frame and I've had it for so long and so I took one of the images uh, from the paper pad I put it in and then I just glossy accented it over it and then I used some wild orchid craft roses and I alternated the colors and then in each corner I added some um, flat back pearls, the kind that, um, you know, they're sticky, they're in the package, and I got those from Patrizia. So that's my card, and then I left it blank inside so I can write a note to someone. And then this is the box. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's just a, um, like a paper mache box, I guess. I got it from the Dollar Tree. It was covered in glitter and I tried to like rub off as much glitter as I could. I I don't like glitter. I don't like um, using anything with glitter because it just gets all over the place. But um, I was able to cover it up. There's still probably some glitter inside the box. And I don't know if you can see it, but yeah, there's a little bit left. But I got most of it out. And so I just altered the top of the box. And I really like how it came out. Here's um, one of the pieces of the 8x8. It's a flowery um, piece, and it's just so pretty. And then here's one of um, the background papers in a peachy color. So I covered the sides with that all the way around. And then I took this beige crocheted lace, and I put that all the way around. And then I top and bottom, I added flat back pearls just to finish it off. On the front, I added this um, pearl and rhinestone bow piece. This is from One Little Dreamer. And then on the top, I started off with this doily, and that's from Kimmy and Dee Dee. And then these are also from them, and they were, um, you know, flowers. And I just took four of them, and I kind of alternated the petals to make its own flower. And then I added this really pretty 
um, flower scent to the pearl and rhinestone that I had in my stash. This piece here is from Prima. And then I added a couple um, acrylic hearts on either end. And here's a little butterfly peeking out from the flower. And then this piece here. Oh, I forget where I got that, but it just went so well with the paper. There's two flowers and then there's some leaves. So, and then these are like the buds and it's just so beautiful. Yeah, I think it was on something and it fell off, but I can't remember. But anyways, I wanted to use it, so I added that in the other corner. So that is my altered box and card for Valentine's Day or really for um, any, you know, gift giving occasion. So that's it. Let me know what you think. If you'd like, leave a message and I will see you again soon. Bye for now.